Hey everyone, welcome to Anu's Corner. I'm so glad you joined me today. So today's video is going to be about a makeup haul that I've been, um, I've actually done a few weeks ago. I've been collecting these products, um, used some of them and uh, maybe some first impressions on some of the others. So I just want to let you know I picked up quite a few items that I've really been loving. So um, without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about were these um, two City Mini Palettes by Maybelline. This one is called Concrete Runway. And it's this beautiful blue that really attracted me. Um, and I've tried this palette. Um, it does have a little fallout, especially this shade up here. Um, and I don't think these have names. So um, it, it, at the back of the palette, it just does show you how to do certain looks. So that's pretty handy. These are really travel friendly and you don't need, um, you know, to really baby these palettes. The, the packaging is pretty sturdy. It's the basic plastic package. Um, the other one that I have is the City Mini palette um, with the collaboration um, Shayla, a collaborator. Um, and this one is um, actually one of my favorites that I picked up from um, that whole collection. It's got these beautiful shades. Um, I have already used some of these and um, they are actually um, very pigmented and very travel friendly as well. So these were the two that I picked up and I will do detailed swatches and reviews of these in um, my upcoming video. So that's that. The next one, um, of course, I have to pick up my uh, Wet n Wild uh, products and Wet n Wild has been coming out with a lot of limited edition products and I picked up a couple from their Mermaid collection and one was a blush. And this is called Dare to Soar. And it's this beautiful pink. It looks really, really bright. Um, but when you apply it on the skin, it gives this beautiful um, shine. And I'm going to swatch it quickly for you. That's the shade. And when I use this blush, I don't need a highlighter. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. And if you haven't tried this one, uh, there's another, there are about two or three more in this collection, but this was the one that I um, thought would um, show up on my skin tone. I'm, I've been really enjoying this one. The next one was an eyeshadow palette. As always, Wet n Wild has some of the best eyeshadow palettes out there. And this one is called Asta La Costa Baby, right? And um, what really attracted me to this quad was this beautiful teal. Look at that. And that's what I have on my eyes today. This is the palette. Um, again, you know, very pigmented. It has that transition shade that most of the new Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes are coming with. It really helps um, with the, you know, not having an additional shade to work with. It has a brow bone. And of course, the only thing um, would, missing would be a black. But um, you can use this and maybe, you know, a single black eyeshadow and that's all you need. So this is a really, really beautiful palette as well. Um, next couple of things I picked up, I've been recently enjoying bronzers. I don't usually use bronzers on my skin, as you can tell, um, you know, I, I'm naturally tan, but in the summer, especially if you wear foundations, it does uh, flatten out your face. So in order to give it some definition, I have been loving uh, bronzers. So the one that I recently picked up, it's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. This one um, is the mini size, and I believe I picked this up from TJ Maxx. Too Faced has come out with a new formula for their Sol Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzers, so I believe these are, um, you know, probably, that's why these were on sale. But I had never purchased one from Too Faced before, and I have been really, really loving it. Of course, it smells like chocolate, so really, really good. Um, I don't anticipate, you know, using this up for quite some time, but... One other bronzer that I've been really eyeing and I've heard really good reviews on is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Powder Bronzer and I have the shade Saddle. Again, you know, packaging, you cannot go wrong with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's this beautiful packaging and I'm going to quickly show you the shade. It comes with a mirror, which is just beautiful. You can see my camera in there and that's the shade. It's this really beautiful um, neutral brown and it's it's just um, gorgeous so I've been really really loving this one um, I will be doing a detailed review on this bronzer um, 
and uh, you know if, if you need any detailed reviews on any of the other ones that I've mentioned please leave me a comments below and I'll be more than happy to do that so that's that the next couple of things um, I picked up were uh, blushes now you know this is a really popular blush by benefits and it's called California uh, with Benefit products, usually I always have a challenge finding products my skin tone, but this particular blush was just beautiful. Look at that pattern. And it's a peachy, um, peachy blush, but with a slight sheen, almost a gold sheen. And I'm going to quickly swatch this. That's what California looks like. That's the Wet n Wild one. That's California. And it's it's really beautiful and it shows up on our skin tone. I don't need a highlighter when I apply this. It gives that really nice glow. So that's, and that actually is what I have on my um, highlighted areas on my um, cheekbones today. So really, really beautiful. California, love it. The next one is, a, of course, a cult favorite. It's the NARS Orgasm blush and I have it in the mini size and again beautiful beautiful peachy gold um, it's it's actually more subtle than the California one but um, you might not be able to tell but you can see it's a little bit more subtle it doesn't show up as much on my skin tone but you can really pack this on so what I usually do is I take a little bit of the California um, blush and then I just add um, the NARS orgasm on top and it works great so I've been loving those I did pick up a new foundation uh, in the market. Now this is from CoverGirl and it's their True Blend Matte Mad, Matte Made, sorry, foundation. Uh, it says Comfort Matte Transfer Resistant. Now this is in the shade T10. Um, I've been loving this foundation. I used this uh, once and as always I use it with a primer but this lasted um, on my face about a good seven to eight hours. And I didn't have to mat, I mean, I didn't have to blot or anything. And um, I'm really liking this foundation for a drugstore brand. Guess what it comes with? It comes with a pump. And I think that's what all foundations need to come up with. So I've been really loving this. Um, I'm going to keep using this and it'll give you a detailed review, you know, um, but I've used this once and I have, I'm really liking it. Now it does not have an SPF. Um, and um, that's the only thing that I would say would I would have really liked to have in a foundation is some SPF to kind of help, um, you know, especially during the summertime. But um, it's a matte foundation and I'm really liking it. The last thing that I have here are some lip products. Of course, I had to pick those up. Now, I have used two of the liquid lipsticks from this brand before and I've done reviews on those. Um, I added two more to my collection, but just to complete out the collection, I have four of these. This, These are the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip uh, Velvet Finish Liquid Lipsticks. Now I have four shades here. One, um, I have the shade called Coral Minerals, which is this beautiful coral shade, beautiful for summer and spring. I have Berry Healthy, which is one of my favorites and the first one that I picked up. Um, there is this beautiful brown with a slight peach undertone and it's called Nutritious. And the last but not the least is called Two Lip Treatment and that's what I have on my lips. It's this beautiful orangey red and goes beautiful um, spring, summer um, and um, these stay on. I have worn now this lip shade. It's been about four hours. I've had a cup of coffee in between but I have used these before these are so comfortable they don't flake they apply beautifully they do have that um, applicator um, very soft and then you know you can just uh, layer easily no problem at all and um, I really really like these um, again, you get Physicians Formula, the drugstore, you're always getting, um, especially at CVS, you get those extra care bucks and you can get the get them at a really good price. So that's my makeup haul uh, video for today. Um, I have made some more purchases. They are on the way, so you'll be seeing a lot more videos uh, from me. Um, I'll be doing some detailed reviews on some of these products, but if there's anything in particular you are interested in, Please leave me your comments below. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, my username is Anu Nair12, A N U N A I R12. And I do post um, my day looks, daily makeup looks uh, on my Instagram page and leave, you know, um, and talk about some products there as well. So 
Uh, I'm so glad you joined me today and you spent a few minutes um, of your time with me. So I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.